Thanks for joining us again today. Uh, so we've got Stephen here from eServe Surveyors, uh, one of the largest surveyors in the country. We're very uh, grateful for him to be joining us here at Your Property Financial. Um, so Stephen, we're talking today about AVMs and automatic valuations and how AI is being uh, used and influencing the surveying market. Um, just to give uh, people a bit of an idea, lenders nowadays are more and more often using automated valuations. So essentially when we submit the application as a broker, um, most of the time in the past, you'd have the survey instructed, surveyor would receive the note, the surveyor goes out, survey comes back, survey goes back to lender, lender receives the survey. Now lenders are using AI and automated systems to complete initial checks on the property. Essentially, a sense check is the valuation that's been put forward, reasonable and plausible for the area. Um, and on that basis, would they be happy to lend with no further checks? Now, Obviously, this is a lot of uh, slight leap of faith and confidence from the lenders in the, the systems that they're using to be able to provide this kind of information. Bear in mind, the lender is lending hundreds of thousands of pounds on the property. Um, I think what's worth bearing in mind is with these types of surveys, um, they are just for the lender's purpose. Um, the lender is ultimately going to get involved with if there's any works or considerations of the property. That is ultimately the responsibility of the buyer. Um so if you're a mortgage broker or, you know, if we come back to you saying very quickly, yep, yeah, we've submitted your application. Oh, yeah. And we've had the survey back. That's OK. Sometimes that can feel almost too quick, um, uh, which is uh, great from a technology point of view. Um, but that then shouldn't be a complacency for, oh, well, I don't need to do a survey. The lender just ticks it off within 10 minutes. We're fine. Actually, it's a basic valuation, just confirming to the lender property isn't an area of subsidence or risk or issues. There's enough data for them to make an informed decision. And indeed, the valuation put forward is something they're happy with. It doesn't go any further than that. And that's where, again, doing your own survey, a level two home buyers or a level three full structural is so important. Um, but yeah, Stephen, tell us a little bit more about eServe and how AVMs are being used and I guess how AI is changing the industry. Well, Paul, thank you. Um, I mean, just to start, just to kind of set the scene is just that many homes have been valued without a single person ever stepping foot inside. Yep. Well, while this does speed up the, the decision making, reduce costs, um, it also will introduce blind spots potentially for a buyer um, when it comes to hidden defects um, and, and structural potential structural issues that only a physical inspection can uncover. So these models, as, as great as they are, if I'm a buyer right now, I'm a little bit concerned with those. And um, I'm, I'm most certainly going to be looking at a survey as, a, as an option to kind of protect myself. Yeah, I think it's crucial, isn't it? It's 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 great if the computer has kind of said yes and the lender's happy with it. Bear in mind the lender booking in the survey, that being done, performed, come back, can easily add two, three, four, five weeks in some worst case scenarios to, to the application timeframes. I mean, the lender resume, reviewing your application, a lot of that is down to AI and credit scoring. The underwriter will then review, and if your broker has positioned your application correctly, you know, the underwriting shouldn't take too long. Uh, unless the underwriter has further questions, and obviously that will go on as long as it takes. But the application should be approved fairly swiftly. More often than not, the thing that takes the longest is the survey. So I think a lender resorting to these issues when they only need to do a basic assessment of is the property meeting lending policy based on the information we have available. Bear in mind this information is probably linking to things like the land registry um, and, and all the other uh, kind of government and countrywide bodies that retain property information. And if the property value uh, is is pretty much in line, then yeah, probably the, the the lender sending someone out doesn't really make much difference. Now, where I would say AVMs typically don't get performed is where it's a, it's an apartment. Um, most apartments, leasehold properties, will get a, a physical surveyor um, because of Building Safety Act um, concerns, uh, previously kind of cladding concerns, and also just the makeup of the building, what's going on, route of access. Uh, that there's so many variables with an apartment that's difficult to yeah. capture in terms of broad data. So, I mean, I have seen AVMs on apartments, but it's more the rarity than the norm. Normally, a physical survey will take place. It's more for free old houses where I notice an AVM is is uh, is is done uh, and done particularly when the loan to value is below a certain threshold. Um, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the types of thresholds that those are, Stephen. I'm not familiar with them, um, and unfortunately, but but it does seem to be, and they certainly seem to be increasing. Um, and I think, unfortunately, while it does speed up the decision making and potentially reduce costs, um, it, mortgage purchasers often mistakenly rely on the lender's valuation yeah. and, and the way that this strictly is for the benefit of the lender only. 
Yeah. And, and I think this is where kind of the education piece is critical, that they do understand that and don't mistakenly rely upon that information provided from it. Yeah, and I think from just thinking about it from, from the houses, I mean, if you're putting down a 10% deposit, a 5% deposit, you know, a lender's going to be really confident with that valuation because actually if it's slightly off, they're going to end up in the, in the wrong side of that potentially. So uh, there's not an exact number, but I would say from experience, where the, if you're buying a house and the loan to value is kind of 75% or below, um, doesn't mean it can't be above that, but around that level, more often than not, uh, nowadays, certain lenders will, certain lenders won't, by the way, but certain lenders will certainly do an AVM, uh, an automated valuation. The view they'll take is, well, look, we're only lending 75% of the value of the property. There's clearly, therefore, enough buffer on top of that. that if something went wrong, we're okay, and therefore we'll, we'll, we'll go with the AVM. We don't need to physically attend. Um, now, I must say, in these examples where an automated valuation is done, um, that doesn't replace... Um, because again, the survey is trying to just to obtain the property as safe from a safety point of view, but also is valued at that price. When you're looking at an apartment, especially, you know, is the lease onerous or are there any issues in the lease? Who's the management company? What's the service charge? How does all this work? How many years are unexpired on the lease? All that work is undertaken by your solicitor. So um, rest assured, you know, as you go through a transaction, if an AVM is done, it's only to your advantage. It's not a negative. You should still want to do your own survey to do due diligence. Um, but obviously, rest assured, your, your legal representative behind the scenes is still making sure that the property has got a safe title uh, and there's no issues there. Um, uh, when it comes to the um, the kind of AI side of uh, things, uh, Stephen, just thinking maybe around AVMs or just more broadly in the industry, is there anything from an AI point of view that you see happening now or maybe due to happen in the future where you think AI is going to maybe change the game or, or, or help innovate in some way? Well, look, I think in, in without a doubt, well, um, without a doubt, we're going to have a strong influence and it's accelerating every day. But I, I think as we spoke about the other day, there's always going to be the element required for um, advisors and people that deal and provide advice. You, you're going to have to have something there where we don't look at a data-driven, um, volume-driven product. You're going to need someone who's going to look at every, particularly as something in, in purchasing your property. Um, you're going to need someone there to, to make sure they give you the correct advice. And I think there's always going to be a place for it. However, certainly we will be utilizing AI to um, to speed things up without a doubt. Fantastic. Well, um, thanks for covering uh, the AVMs and how all those work. Uh, thank you very much, Stephen. Um, thanks for joining us today. Paul, thank you very much for your time.